The solemn announcement marked the founding of the People's Republic of China, the rise of a new nation in the world. Soon after the People's Republic was founded, it was important for the government to make friends with other countries and win international recognition. On October 3, 1949, just two days after the founding of New China, the Soviet Union became the first country to establish diplomatic relations with it. And soon, other 10 socialist countries followed suit. Among independent Asian nations, India was the first to set up official ties with China. Among Western countries, some like Sweden, Denmark, and Switzerland were on the list. Others like the United Kingdom and the Netherlands recognized the legitimate status of China, a step away from former diplomatic relations. The new China was making more and more friends, but the past was far from smooth. And after years of war and centuries of imperialist suppression, the country's main diplomatic mission was to safeguard its national security. In other words, to survive. Chairman Mao Zedong advanced the principles of putting the house in order before inviting guests and leading to one side. In order to establish independent and equal ties with other countries, the government carried out three major policies, starting anew, putting the house in order before inviting guests, and leaning to one side. It means the new government was determined to nullify foreign relations set up by the previous Kuomintang government, cleaning up remnants of China's imperialist past and upholding socialism. During the Cold War, most countries either chose the capitalist camp, led by the United States, or the socialist camp, led by the Soviet Union. China chose the Soviet Union, as the Western powers were hostile and wanted to contain the new nation. That meant China could only secure social and economic aid from other socialist countries. 12月16日 on December the 6th, 1949, Chairman Mao Zedong paid a state visit to the Soviet Union. In January 1950, Premier Zhou Enlai also visited, and one month later signed the Sino-Soviet Treaty of Friendship, Alliance and Mutual Assistance. The treaty focused on protecting their national security and military defense. By the end of 1955, 23 countries established former diplomatic relations with China, making the first upsurge in international recognition in the country's diplomatic history. In 1950, one year into the People's Republic, the country got involved in the Korean War and changed its diplomacy. 